Toward the end of the age of dinosaurs, the plains and forests of North America were filled with dinosaurs of every size and shape. There were giant meat eaters, duck-billed plant eaters, armored dinosaurs, and dinosaurs that flew through the air. During this time, there were large numbers of three-horned dinosaurs called Triceratops. These giant dinosaurs were 30 feet long and weighed more than modern elephants. Triceratops probably lived in herds that roamed the western plains, just as herds of bison would do in a later age. Triceratops especially the young ones, faced danger from huge meat-eating dinosaurs such as Tyrannosaurus. The full-grown Triceratops might have protected their young by forming a circle and pointing their long horns outward like a wall of spears. Sometimes a hungry Tyrannosaurus might have found a Triceratops that had wandered away from the herd. Even when caught alone, the Triceratops could have put up quite a fight. Triceratops would have charged at Tyrannosaurus, using its horns as a weapon. Tyrannosaurus would have tried to dodge Triceratops and attack its neck from behind. But Triceratops's neck was protected by a thick, bony shield. Its swinging tail was a powerful weapon, too. Triceratops' horns and shields could have had other uses. Males may have used them in mating battles, the same way deer use their antlers today. And like deer, male Triceratops may have shown off their headgear to attract females. Triceratops' horns and shields may also have helped the dinosaurs recognize their own kind. There were many different kinds of dinosaurs in the Triceratops family, and each had its own kind of headgear. Taurosaurus, Orhinoceratops, Chasmosaurus, Pachyrhinosaurus, Centrosaurus. One of the most unusual members of the Triceratops family was Staracosaurus, a weird looking spike headed monster. Only two fossils of this dinosaur have been found. One early member of the Triceratops family was Cytricosaurus. This dinosaur walked on two legs most of the time. It also had a parrot-like beak. In fact, its name means parrot lizard. Protoceratops lived in what are now the deserts of Mongolia. The scientists who found Protoceratops' bones also found their nests under the sand, complete with fossil eggs. The first Triceratops fossils were found in Colorado more than a hundred years ago. At first, only the Triceratops' horns were discovered. The scientists who studied the horns thought they belonged to a bison. But when an entire Triceratops skull was found, he realized that he'd made a mistake. It wasn't long before an entire Triceratops skeleton was unearthed and put together. It's not surprising that the scientists who found Triceratops' horns thought they were from a bison. Both creatures traveled in vast herds over the same plains at different times. And the bison nearly died out, just as the Triceratops did. The bison herds were victims of man, while Triceratops was a victim of the forces of nature. 
While the bison survived, Triceratops did not. By the end of the age of dinosaurs, Triceratops and the rest of the horned dinosaurs had all died out. Thank you.